sing that shit. Hello guys, this is Zios Graphics. Welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, click on the subscribe button and click on the notification bell to get notified anytime I release a new video. So I'm presently using Autodesk Sketchbook for this tutorial. So um, the first thing you're going to be doing is importing the photo. So I'm presently going to import the photo presently. Then you can resize it whichever way you prefer. So I'm presently resizing the photo after resizing then you press you click on done so you can use you can use um photoshop or any other drawing application or software either um, on mobile phone or on pc you can use it you can use the same method i use on this particular tutorial for it so you can just closely um focus on the tools and also the methods i use for it so presently i've imported the photo and i've created i'm going to be creating sorry i'm going to be creating a new layer so i'm going to be creating a new layer for the sketch so but you have to reduce the opacity of your your reference to either 80 70 whichever um, opacity you like just reduce it make sure you reduce the opacity then you create a new layer then you select the hat pencil for your sketch you can uh, check the settings you can check the settings they are all there you can pause the video then check the settings of your brush the brush you use it make sure you're using a pencil or hat pencil anyone you prefer to use you can use it it mustn't be a hat pencil but make sure it's good for sketching then you can trust over your photo because presently I'm using a mobile phone for this particular tutorial but if you are you are using a PC or you're using a tablet or iPad you can use your pencil to sketch you trace it out so I'm presently using my finger for this particular tutorial I'm using a lesser device so that beginners will uh, pick up the challenge and also know that it sometimes it doesn't matter the, the the device you use but the results you get and also mm, the 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 um it doesn't matter the application you use or the device you use um, all you need to do is just to uh, be consistent and practice a lot because um the more you practice the more you get good in it so presently we are not going to be doing any form of anatomy we will simply be tracing over our photo because this tutorial is meant for beginners it's an ultimate beginners tutorial so we are not going to be doing using any rallies method or we are not going to be using any andrew Lumis method we are just going to be tracing over the photo simply tracing over the photo clear carefully just be doing exactly what i've been doing since so um just in case you're interested in getting the particular photo i used for this tutorial you can go to the description box and there is a link there you just click on the link to get to download the particular picture i used for for this tutorial so in case you are a typical beginner um, I would advise you uh, if you're having difficulty with sketching out using your finger you can use the predictive stroke it's up there uh, so I've clicked it you can drag it to either two three and when you drag it to five it will give you a perfect straight line so it's advisable for you to set it to three it will give you a smoother line a smoother line compared to um in um the ones you've been using with your finger to sketch so when when you use the predictive tool it's going to give you a curvy and street a curvy and street um sketch compared to the one without predictive stroke so i would advise you to 
be using predictive stroke before you you get used to sketching without using the predictive stroke at least it will help you just in case your hand is shaky so it will help you to sketch it out fast and smoother So just in case you want to like you, you want to reduce something or you want to undo or copy or whatever thing you want to do just in case you're not familiar to this application there's a beginner's guide in my channel you can just check it out beginner's guide on Autodesk sketchbook is going to guide you through how to undo and redo how to copy how to paste how to import photo how to do so many things how to make full uh, a full canvas how to set how to get layers how to add layers you can get them there so just uh, search for beginners guide on my channel is there you just search for it and you get it so just follow the guide and get familiar with the app then you can come back and continue your you can continue with your tutorial so you can make it a follow along you can keep you can download the video and then keep pausing and pausing then do your own part then play you can can follow the tutorial while watching at it you can keep working on your own you can watch any any step you forgot you can go back and watch and still continue your project so and also i'll i'll I have dropped a a project file a tiff file uh, for this particular tutorial i've dropped the file just in case you want to look at um the complete layer and and everything i've done so far so just in case you want to see my layers you want to see how i arranged my layers how i sketched it out how you want to load the project file it will be in the description box just go there and download it so just keep doing exactly what i'm doing and keep tracing the photo just keep tracing the photo the main important thing is I'm going to be teaching you here is not sketching, it's not anatomy. The, the basic thing that I'm going to show you is how to how to shade, how to paint. That's the basic thing I'm going to be showing you now. So and there are some other tutorials I've made that may be helpful helpful for you. So you can go and check them out in my channel. I've made several tutorials painting tutorial shading tutorial realistic shading i've done so many tutorials you can go check them out so just um, keep on 
tracing the photo just keep on tracing the photo i would advise you to just keep just keep on learning how to trace photo perfectly after you're done with that you can learn how to shade you can follow the tutorial and learn how to shade learn how to highlight learn how to and make backgrounds and the rest so maybe after you're good in doing those stuff so you can come back and learn anatomy so anatomy will be very difficult for you when you go directly to anatomy without learning um, uh, learning this um, tree without learning how to trace how to shade and if you go direct to anatomy you're going to definitely you're go definitely going to learn and you're going to um, know how to do it but it's going to take time and also it will be very difficult for you so but it's very advisable for you to have idea um, such as this so that when you're uh, starting to learn anatomy or going for anatomy studies and light studies and the rest um, it will be very easy for you to um, walk through it and be successful so that's that's how it works
so after we are done filling up the hair we can use our hairbrush our hairbrush or hair tool to drag the hair strands and to cover them up make sure we use them we use it to blend you can set your flow to either um, four five six or ten you can just set your flow um, depends on what you want it to do for you you can if you don't have the hair brush or hair tool for orthodox sketchbook you can you can use your smudge brush to drag the hair strands uh, you can use it to, for your blending you can drag the hair strands using the smudge brush or the, the smudge bristle brush um, or the hair brush just keep doing what I'm doing I'm dragging the hair I'm blending them with the hair strands just keep doing this and make sure it comes out neat so after you're done blending the strands and filling up the hair you can create a new layer for the highlights and we're going to be using the synthetic flat round um, i think synthetic flat brush and bristol brush too uh, you can search for synthetic flat bristol brush and make sure make sure the color of your highlights is white make sure you select the color of your highlight make it white and you just follow the settings i've done on this particular tutorial make sure you've selected the hair in particular you can use clipping marks you can search on how to use clipping marks you can also use the select to the magic wand to select the hair so i've selected the hair so that it will not go out of while i'm working on it it will not go out of uh, my drawings so I've used the I'm um, using the synthetic bristol brush to um, synthetic flat bristol brush. I'm reducing the flow so as for it to look nice. I'm reducing the flow. So uh, make sure you've selected uh, a white color for the highlights. Follow the flow of the hair strands. Make sure it's not contrary to your photo make sure it's um corresponding correctly to um your photo with your photo sorry just keep doing exactly what i'm doing and while you're doing that you can use your soft um, soft eraser to clean up some places as you can see you can just use it to clean up some edges and blend them up make sure you give it the a strany look like a hair strany look make sure they come out like hair strands not 
and make sure you just do exactly what I'm doing just keep on doing it use the uh, soft eraser to clean up some places and make sure it corresponds with your picture just keep doing exactly what I'm doing just keep watching and keep pausing and doing exactly what I'm doing So after detailing your hair with your synthetic flat bristle brush, if you are not um, con if you are not con um, convenient or you are not happy with what you've gotten so far, you can use your your hard pencil or any pencil you want. Just reduce the the size and opacity. When you draw the strands, make sure it corresponds exactly to what you've you've been seeing on the photo so just make sure it um, corresponds to what is on the photo so you can just use your pencil your pencil to draw the strands the highlights the detailing of the hair just make sure you use any tool that you think is convenient pencil can also serve as a tool for detailing your hair so whichever which other app um you're using you just choose whatever brush you think is convenient for you to use then use it So in this tutorial, um, I'm not going to be using colors like real colors um, for skin colors for this particular tutorial. I'm going to be using just grayscale colors um, so that you learn how to how to shade, basically shade and highlight. So if we're going to be using colors, it will be very difficult for you to. Um, concentrate on how to shade and highlight and highlight so it's advisable for you to concentrate more on the shadows and the light than on the colors so we are going to be using the three basic colors or uh, grayscale colors we're going to be using the white the gray and the black so these are the colors we're going to be using for our grayscale painting so after you're done um, practicing with your grayscale and when you you're done studying studying how the shadows and the lights goes um, and how it uh, it is placed on the photo you can simply watch my tutorial on how to convert your grayscale into um, a colored portrait a colored cartoon portrait so i just do uh, this tutorial 
um, with grayscale so that you know get distracted um, with colors you can because colors are very tricky and it's not everyone that you knows how to use colors most especially beginners so it's advisable for you to just use a black and white color for your shading and for your then create a new layer then select a black color for your shading select a soft airbrush you select a soft airbrush we're going to be using the soft airbrush for your for our shading so as for those using pc um photoshop on um on pc or autodesk sketchbook on pc we can you can also use a soft um a soft round brush for your shading soft airbrush or round brush for your shading whichever tool you think is, is softer you can use them so i'm presently shading the ears so i think we're going to be shading the air first before we dive into the face so just keep on shading and keep on comparing your photo with your shading so make sure the reference is at the top of your shading layer and make sure the shading layer is at the top of your base layer your base color layer that's your gray the gray color your gray color is your base color then your black color is for the shading then the white color is for the highlights so make sure you just check the arrangement i've dropped um the project file file just in case you want to see how i arrange the layers you can just check them out so you can just keep looking at the reference photo then um, you go back to your layer and then repaint the shadows there can just see the black shadows on the ear and go back use your black color and your airbrush to copy exactly what you you are seeing on the reference just keep copying exactly what you you're seeing on the reference make sure you reduce opacity and also 
um, the size of your brush so as to um, shade well you can also use your blending brush to blend some places just in case it's, it looks rough you can use your blending brush to blend them and make them look more smoother
so in case you are shading a particular side of the photo that is very dark darker than the rest of the photos so um, I would advise you to use your hard airbrush for that side because it's more thicker compared to the soft airbrush so let's um, I'm presently using the hard airbrush to fill up the black uh, section of the uh, the the ear under the ear the there's a shadow there a very hard shadow a very dark shadow so I'm using the hard um, airbrush to fill up the the shadow over there so you can also use your your blending brush to blend and drag some shadows and make them look more sm smoother since you successfully shaded the ear and the neck so i would advise you to create a new layer for the face so as not to um, make a mistake and clean um, um, or clean um, or make sure um, you avoid mistake like making an additional shadow to the neck uh, mistakenly without uh, being able to erase the mistake so to avoid mistakes or confusion 
you I would advise you to create a new layer for the for different parts of the piece while you're shading after you're done with the shading you can match them you can match the layer so after I'm done shading the head I, I can match I can merge the layer together to um, with the the head layer together with the ear and the the neck so I would advise you to just keep on um, get used to creating new layers after working on them then you can match them because it's more safer and also it uh, makes you to avoid mistakes and uh, you can easily erase mistakes uh, without completely losing your work so when you're using a, a particular a, like one layer when you're using one layer and um, you stand the risk of losing your work completely and also um, um, when you make mistakes it will be very difficult for you to erase so but when you're using different layers it will be very easy for you to erase and restart some particular parts so when you just give the ear or the eye the nose or the or the mouth or the neck a particular layer after then you can match them to all together as you can see this is a particular layer and this is a different layer to the neck and the head so I'm, i've categorized them into different layers so after i'm done with the shading of the head i can match them to the neck so this is a very um, important and also helpful uh, method of shading you can just keep on and add, uh, adding a new layer for the layer a uh, layer for the uh, shading of the eyes or any part you um, you're working on after you're done with the layer you can match them down with the the one you've already done the previous one you've already worked with so this is just a, a tip on how to shade and far we on how to shade and avoid um, losing your work
up next we're going to be shading the lip uh, i've created a new layer for the lip so i would advise you to um to keep the layer after you're done shading the lip just keep on keep the layer aside don't merge the layer with the already shaded head so don't merge the layer the lip layer with the head lay, um, shading layer so you just keep we just lip um, leave the lip layer separately on a different layer so it should be more safer for you while you're converting your grayscale into a colored um, colored portrait so i would advise you to just keep the the lip layer differently um, separate from the other layers um, so that while, while you're converting it because lip has a certain color some are having pink color and some are having um, red lip color uh, lip so i would advise you to just keep the lip layer different so when you're converting, it's more easier for you to apply colors and to render. So guys as you can see we are done with the shading of the head and what what is left for us now is to highlight to highlight the head so i've already created a new layer for that for the highlights and we're going to be selecting a white color for our highlights the highlight is the light the light the cast light or the whatever light you you find on the on the face we're going to be um, recopying we're going to be copying them and be pasting them on our shading layer on our on that's at the top of our shading layer make sure the highlight is at the top of our shaded layer our shading layer so, and you can reduce the opacity to uh, either 20 25 or 30 and make sure you use your soft round brush and make sure you follow exactly what is on the reference the whitish the whitish um, colors the whitish light on the reference make sure you check them and replicate them uh, on your drawing so presently we are just um, looking at the reference and we are just um, putting them where they're supposed to be just make sure you um, closely look at the highlights the lights on the head and then paste them on your and just shade them just shade them on your your drawing we don't forget to create a new layer for your highlights don't join don't combine your highlights with your shading layer just make sure the layers are placed differently make sure your highlight is at the top of your shading layer just place them at the top
So we're going to be shading the shirt. So we've selected in a white color and we've selected our soft airbrush. So I've done a more detailed tutorial on how to shade the, the clothes. On a separate video, you can go check it, uh, check it out just in case you don't understand this one. So I'm using, uh, after I've applied the whitish color, using my airbrush on the black color, I'm presently using the soft eraser to like reshape it and give it a shadow like because the base color under the, this black color so while i'm cleaning it up it's going to be giving it like a black shadow and it's going to be reshaping it and giving it a cloth like sheet or shadow so you just keep on doing what i'm doing just select your soft um, eraser then just keep on shading and um, keep on um, cleaning because I'm presently cleaning the whitish the whitish color I've applied on a new layer at the top of my black um, um, black base color for the the suit so let's keep on doing exactly what I'm doing I'm just reshaping them reshaping the the shadows I'm reshaping, I'm cleaning them, I'm giving it a look, a look as you can see, we are making progress. So I've done a, a tutorial on that from A to Z. I've done a very a complete detailed tutorial on how to, um, the easiest way to shade, like how I'm doing now. So you can just check my channel i've done a video on that you can just do go and check it out just check it out so this is just uh, this is not the right way to shade but it's just like uh, a tip or let's say uh, like just my way of 
doing like the easiest way of doing it just in case you don't want to like directly shade you can just manipulate and shade it like this so but just in case you want to shade as how i've shaded the photo um, the head the head and the ear and the rest you can just do it simply do it but this is just the easiest way on how to shade the clothes so after we're done shading we can apply the background we can just um, create a new layer at um, can just after we're done with the shirt the suit um, we can just create a new layer for our background yeah we're going to be creating a new layer for our background and we're going to be selecting the fuel brush at uh, the fuel tool and we're going to be using a gradient tool for the background just click on the fuel tool select a guard a gradient tool and like select it then drag you can just drag i've done a tutorial on how to make backgrounds simple backgrounds like this so it's on my channel you can go check them out you can just go check them out it's well detailed and it's helpful so you can just go and check it out so just in case this video was helpful please click on the subscribe button share with friends like comment and then subscribe don't forget to subscribe turn on the notification bell um, to get notified anytime I release a new video. So thanks. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks so much for watching and supporting and um, If you have any video requests, you can just comment down below. I'll answer you and I'll make a video so thank you guys for watching and Thank you guys for um, watching thus far and Supporting me. So I'm very grateful I'll see you in my next video. Bye.